Welcome to a new lecture, the community of Abeltona in Manitoba. And then in this lecture, we're going to be addressing the main information about the community in the Greenland area in Manitoba. So for a start, Altona, Manitoba is a town in southern Manitoba, about 100 kilometers southwest of Winnipeg and 133 north of Grand Forks, North Dakota. The population at the 2011 census was 4,123 residents. The old Altona was founded in 1880 by the plodiesh speaking Mennonites from the Russian Empire. It is surrounded by the rural municipality of Greenland. Much of the surrounding area is devoted for farming and agriculture based businesses. And this is based on information from Wikipedia. Then when it comes to information by town folio, we can find that the population in 2016 was of around 4,212, a little increase from the previous census. The household income from the community of Altona in Manitoba is basically of the middle class. Around 60,000 to 79,000 is the majority of the household in the area. And we can see also that the household income, the median household income is around 59,341. 75 people are identified as members of the Aboriginal population. The majority are female in the population of the town. We can see also that the median age is around 40. So it means it's a little younger than other communities that we have checked before. And there's a population of 240 visible minorities. When it comes to the labor force, we can see that it's concentrated in manufacturing, some retails, education, healthcare, and we can see a big chunk in sales and services and transportation because of the closeness to the U.S. border and in businesses and finances. We also can see that the employment rate is around 61.4% and the unemployment rate of 4%, which is typically low compared to other communities. The largest occupation is sales and services and they have a big industry in manufacturing as well. When it comes to taxes, it follows the same structure as other communities in Manitoba. We can see the 15% for the first 48,535 and then those brackets continue to increase. And at uh, the federal level and at the provincial level, we can see 10.8% in the first 33,389 and then the brackets continue to increase. Here you can see all the metrics related to businesses. When it comes to federal small business corporate and the provincial ones so it's something to you need to explore if you're interested in doing business in altona the average temperature you we can see here that the january and february are the coldest month of the year with a big snowfall between december and january we see the regular temperature 37 is the highest during the summertime and minus 38 will be the coldest during the winter time. The most stable month is December and January is the most unpredictable when it comes to weather. When it comes to home ownership, the majority of people own the house in Altona with the lower proportion of renters. And we can see the big, the bigger portion of all the houses have more than four or more bedrooms, which is uh, typically uh, a sign of big houses in the community. We also can see that there is around 1,165 homeowners and only 475 renters in the community. And the, the average housing prices based on the 2016 numbers is 219,554. Relatively low and cheap in comparison to other places. In relation to transportation, the majority of people own a, a vehicle in Altona and the rest of the people just walk or bicycle. So there's 73% vehicle drivers that own a vehicle and the business time will be between 7 a.m. And, and almost 8 a.m. When it comes to the community, the majority of the people have a high school degree and other have no certificates. They have a university and or a college degree as well. The biggest field is in engineering and related and 
also in healthcare and related field, all the major uh, field of study. Agriculture is present in the studies and business represents the biggest proportion of studies in the city. When it comes to businesses, more, more than half are small businesses, less than four employees, followed by companies with between five and nine employees. Agriculture is the biggest industry in the area with 262 businesses focused on agriculture, followed by real estate and construction. The largest industry, as we said before, agriculture, and the smaller industry is mining and oil. Real estate have 129 businesses focused on that area, while healthcare businesses are focused on around 38 businesses. Now let's take a look at their websites. And here we are in the website of Altona. And this is the section of the website that is focused on immigration. And we can see the information here. We're talking about the community, the attractions, it give you all the links that you need about recreations and some link also about the IRCC Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. But also you have information about the Connect Regional Connection Immigrant Services, the School Division, the Pembina Valley Local Immigration Partnership, the English Cafe for people that are already in, uh, gathering in the in the community, and other links that you might find interesting. We continue to this. You can check all the opportunities that they have as a, a community, and as well. If you want to know about touristic places, businesses, information for residents and government, you can find all of this in this section of the website. We can also check the municipality of Rhineland municipality here, and you can also find information about the region overall. You have all the information here, they have an application, you can check also. And I give you a general overview about the community. You can check here, government, residents, businesses, and information if you want to visit, okay? So another website that you can check just to have an idea of the overall region in Manitoba. The advantage of Altona as a community is that you have close by institutions, educational institutions that you can use as an international student. Uh, one of those is the Red River College, and this is the li direct link for international students when you can check the information about videos resources how to register how to study the list of programs that they have they have for in, uh, learning english and academic programs as well information about living in manitoba information about winnipeg the accommodation guide that can help you find accommodation in campus and out of campus health insurance information about health insurance and of course information about work and immigration how to work while studying, working after uh, graduation, how to immigrate to Canada, and visa support. Basically, information that are based on the IRCC website. They also have a student support that you can check. Yeah, you can check for uh, support for newcomers, how to apply, the whole process for international students, and some testimonial for students that have been there with Red River College. So, interesting to check check the website they have also presence in facebook twitter linkedin and instagram so i highly suggest you to check this choice if you want to come as an international student to red river college you can also come to the university of manitoba and here the page with information for international students the admission requirements the transfers graduate english proficiency and all the information you might need if you decide to study in the University of Manitoba. Check the resources page and you will find the link to this university. You can also check the University of Winnipeg and this is the page for international students when you have all the information that you can check for future students, current students or accepted students and the steps that you need to do to get registered with the University of Winnipeg. Remember the advantage of studying in the communities that you can have more choices when it comes to immigration programs, including the 
pilot program. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we hope we see you in the next one. Thank you very much.